Hi there, welcome back. I have a teeny, tiny uh, little thrift haul <laughs> today. I had to I had to go to the post office. I had a whole bunch of um, wild women to uh, send off to all their new homes. So that was nice to get them done and on their way. And uh, of course, you know my car, it, um, it knows how to get to the thrift store all on its own. I did show a little bit of restraint. Um, I've got sorry silk threads everywhere. I showed a little bit of restraint. Uh, restraint. I only went to one. And I was so excited. I, I'm, my calendar is all off. I, um, I kept thinking it was Monday. And Monday is double stamp day at my thrift store. If you um, if you spend five dollars, if you spend more than five dollars, you will get a stamp, and when you get a full card, I forget what you, how much you get off um, at this little thrift store. But on Mondays, it's double stamp day, so if you spend more than five dollars, you get two stamps on your card. Pardon me, reach, reaching. Um, and I got all excited because I thought, oh, yay, it's double stamp day. <laughs> That's how exciting my life is. <laughs> Anyhow, it wasn't double stamp day. So um, I got I got just a couple of little things. I got, first of all, I got this. I think it's a napkin holder. I kind of like it because... It has, uh, the cow jumped over the moon, so I assume this must be Old Mother Hubbard um, on this side. Um, and I like it because it's really, really strong and sturdy. And if you follow me, you know, let me find a book so I can show you what I do. Hold on here. So if you follow me, you know that I have many times while I'm working on um, journals that I need to be able to work on the spine. Sometimes it's because I'm um, doing um, gilding wax on the outside of the spine. Sometimes it's the new text block that I'm working on and I'm putting down a layer of uh, gauze over the over the threads from sewing in the signatures. And for various reasons, um, I need to, I like to work on it upright. Um, and I usually just use this thing, but it's, it's a little wobbly. I find that these, they can bend. And sometimes if the book I'm using is too wide, I have to open it like this and then put half over one side, half over the other side. And usually they are too wide. I Lately, I just love a nice big book. And this does the trick, but I just thought, oh, okay. I mean, I'm a sucker for cute. And I mean, come on, cute. And that will hold it up. And it's... It's rare that I have a book bigger than that. So, I don't know. It was, uh, that makes me happy. So, so I got that. This can go into my to donate um, box that I always have going in the corner. The th things come in and things go out. Um, I found this. I love these are my favorite kind of necklaces for um, making little uh, dangly charms to put on um, on eyelets on the sides of books. So again, sometimes if there's you know, say I've put a whale tail tab there and I put an eyelet on it. Sometimes it's fun to use like a bulb pin and just hang something cute and glittery or a little bead off of it and that just caught my eye because those are just they're a nice size they're a nice weight the marking on it reminds me of the stone markings that we saw on um 
on the uh, the burial mounds in Ireland, like at Bruna Boyne when we visited there. Um, the 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 people that lived there, like these were the burial mounds in Ireland, uh, are older than the pyramids in Egypt. They're they're so old, and uh, the the people that were there would grind these beautiful intricate designs into the stones and this reminded me of this the designs on the stones at Bruna Boyne in Ireland so I had to have these and uh, so they have to let me get my little bin they will be going into my little bin aptly named charm stuff because that's what it is charm stuff there we go. So that got put away. And then uh, the last little thing was this cute little book. Uh, first of all, I like it, but I, I do think I'll gut it. I don't think I will turn it into an altered book. I will gut it because the pages are so cool. I couldn't find a year in it, but I might... Uh, I might, I haven't done a, a Google search yet. The 26th edition, that might help me find out when this was uh, published. Look at these pages. They are perfect to be like semi-blank pages to go into junk journals. Because look at all that journaling space. But it's also an old stamp book. Am I in the center? I am. Let me lift it up so you can take a look. So see how it's it's for people who were collecting stamps. It obviously never got used. All the pages seem to be there, yep. So I'm very excited about this. It's just really, really cute. Lovely blank pages. They are sewn in, so I'll be able to keep them as folios. So I was happy about that. They've um, they've had quite an array of old books in that one particular thrift store lately, um, but none of them. I, I am getting better at being choosy. And there once was a time I just would have grabbed a box and you know buy all the old books. <laughs> I, I am getting better. It, this is a huge thing for me to come out of there with one book. Hmm. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. So there we go. That is the tiny little thrift haul for the day. I just thought I'd check in and uh, and say hi and thank everyone again who put up with the, uh, the tiny little portrait angle of the live stream I did on Sunday. That was so spur of the moment. I knew I had to get those last little bits of work done on the books and I just thought you know what, I'm here, my camera's here, let's go live. And uh, I still haven't figured out, I, I'm going to have to look into f fixing that landscape option. I used to be able to do it. So it's something that I've got locked on my new phone that I need to figure out. Anyhow, I'm off. I actually need to pick out my next book. And I'm, I'm looking on my shelves here, and I'm not sure. I'm kind of craving doing a garden book. Hmm. We'll see. Take care. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of your day.